There are many ways you can interact with Linux Gamecast. There are four One of ways. Which, well, there are four ways, Not but... For uh, a Jedi. It depends. <laughs> what if I may... It's Wait. the path to the dark side. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whenever the hell else we come up with. And we're here to jingle your motherfucking face off. What's up, beautiful people? I'm Vince Stone. That's um, Jordan Sfang and down there and uh, Britannia, the man on the island. One Pedro Mateus. <laughs> Together with you, Shatram Dynamic, joining us live, helping us for me, know it. I'm Holiday Voltron. It's the, it's the, that, that white powder is snow. It's snow. It's Actually, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, it's just powder. Uh, I, I saw a great thing on Reddit. Somebody took a like a little Thanos figurine and like shattered a candy cane in human form. And like, That's pretty good. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> or, or, I don't know. It's thing, man. Hey, before we get going, let's see who we didn't write anything. Now. I uh, nope. more, more on this at eleven. There's a new screen behind me. Yeah? So there's a screen. We'll talk about that in our shameless so promotion segment. Um, Jordan, have you done anything fun this week? I I, I saw Star Wars. We on watched the, a gang uh, of stuff. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you if you if you want if you want to see our reviews of stuff recently, you should check out the pre pre super shows and mm-hmm. your Patreon. Um. Yeah, no, um, I was, at, I was at work. Someone's like, hey, man, I bought a bunch of tickets to Star Wars. You want to come? And I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, you can duck. Spo- you don't have to duck spoilers anymore. And I'm like, OK, <laughs> um, I, I, I said this in Discord. Ben, you disagree with me, but like, guys, please don't clap in the theater. People are trying to watch the movie. Pedro and, they, and the I. The people on the screen can't hear you. They can't. They're not real. <laughs> Pedro and I. OK, to put the to put the qualifier on it, 100 percent. Star Wars opening, like, I'm just going to say yeah. opening week of a movie outside of like just straight on people ripping the chairs up and attacking each other. I'm like, uh, I, 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 this is what I'm going to get. I know this is going to be a thing. Now, here's the thing, Jordan, I do agree with you or I would agree with you if I'm at like the Alamo draft house, I'm chilling out dinner in a movie and people are making noise like that. I'm like, no, we don't do that here. However, at a general, I, I just like, cause then a child is going to be throwing M&Ms, and, you know, <laughs> listen, 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 I, I can, un, I can appreciate the reality of the situation, but I can also express my desire d- for a world pleasure. where people don't fucking clap in the middle of a movie to people who won't respond to them. That's it. You could have just clap back at them. Like it, like, <laughs> yeah, and, give and just, the clap. and just been like Jordan clap. Max give, 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 him the, give him the old Shia LaBeouf. It'd be great. <laughs> Pedro, uh, you bricking all the way, man. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, you, you have a big brick. You're full of bricks. Well, yeah, I do have a big brick. I have a uh, 230-watt Dell power supply that's um, got a big chunking connector right here. And uh, what this is going to do is going to allow me to get rid of the internal TFX power supply that's currently on the Steambox 360 and, say, use that space for a low-profile 1650, Just which makes, all of a sudden, makes that particular uh, Xbox enclosure a heck ton of a lot more powerful than the original console that was in there ever was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just use that ginormous power brick to keep your feet warm like a normal person. I, I just want to see warm. like I, <laughs> I just want to see like Pedro rip, whip out the soldering iron, spend some time like integrating mm-hmm. that into the uh, into the steam box, nope. and then the thing just explodes. Uh, see, I, I really want him to start using it to warm his stinky ass feet. So when he gives it to somebody, the next person is going to plug it in. It's going to heat up, and they're like, "What in the hell?" Well, it's just like, what does like it smell like cram- Cheetos? It's like Cheetos. microwaving a bunch of fish at someone's place when they're not around. And then- also, another pro tip, man. It is the holidays. Uh, the stupid people. They're at retail outlets with their carts, but they're on fast mode. Watch out for them. I almost got run over a couple of times. Unlike the you're, horse. You're, 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 I mean, ah. the, the, horse, the horse goes to Walmart and he sits his ass on a rascal and tries to run people over. He's He's got like the next level shit going on. That's it's cool. the steam. Let us not day of three sale. 
I didn't even see. I guess it's getting Valve. You got to calm down on the sales, man. I'm not even looking forward to that. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the 2019 Steamyville Holiday Market is upon us. So treat yourself like you did like less than two months ago, and buy more shit, peasant, and get coins and stickers. I kind of wanted the angry Yule log, but here's the thing: I am too lazy to like do whatever's required. Like maybe. If you just give it to me, I if you get it buy there. games, you'll just get the equivalent amount of coins. So as always, steamdb.info forward slash sales, easiest way to go through it. You can line up your discounts, your ratings, price from A, price to B, currency, filter by OS. Hey, we're kind of down with that. I didn't see anything that I, A, I didn't already have. Well, I did see this. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. I, I grabbed that. Hellblade, yep. Heckblade. I'm probably going to get that. <laughs> Nine uh, also, quid. Also, also I, I'll, I'll say this. If you want to play with us on Thursday, mm -hmm. Vermintide is like eight bucks now. Grab it. Here, this, we were talking about this in the pre pre super shows. Skyrim job, the special edition. It's half off $19.99. Back to what I was saying. The problem with having these sales so close to games like i've already seen that sale i know that was the same <laughs> price last time you, you gotta show me something new with that although there is something to be said especially about skyrim the new skyrim and uh fallout 4 is that with the new version of proton that we talked about last week not the new new one the last week new one mm -hmm. uh it works properly now so there's that <laughs> there's that give it a week <laughs> two weeks max um <laughs> Well, don't, don't, don't worry, because with the Lunar Skyrim New Year sales are. coming in, like, February? Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Dovah Keen. Yeah, I, I mean, no if, you, if you want to play Skyrim in, uh, <laughs> in VR, you, you can. Uh, Steam VR version 1.9, it's out. That's the settings update. It basically has a bunch of new configuration options. And if you scroll down, oh my god, there are some honest-to-god Linux fixes. It's a Christmas no, miracle. No, couldn't be. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wow, appa right. apparently, apparently Valve has not given up on uh, VR for Linux. Um, but yeah, it uh, sets uh, real-time thread priorities via RTKit on Debian. Uh, there's a pairing UI window fix. There's also a crash <laughs> uh, that they're saying is rare, but there's an optimable beta that you can uh, enter to fix it. They also added a diagnostic for tracking down some uh, haptics bugs. So it looks like they're actually, you know, trying to make it work. And they're trying to introduce tooling to better diagnose problems that show up on Linux. So may may maybe eventually we'll get that Linux release of Half-Life Alex. That like three people can play on that's their vibes. gonna be awesome, man. I'm glad to see stuff like that for the brave psychonaut brothers and sisters out there that dropped all that coin. They're like, yay, hey, you remember us well. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like empty, my buddy Anthony. That's about it. <laughs> that's about it. Oh, well. <laughs> there was someone else. There was someone else in Discord that uh, also had the no, VR headset. Nova. But yeah. I, I think I think Nova has one. <laughs> At, yeah, Nova, yeah, probably. <laughs> do you think? Because that didn't do it for me. Even if it was Half Life Three, I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm not buying it." What if it was Toaster? No. What if it was Half Life Five? Nah. <laughs> maybe. All right. Maybe by Half Life Five, because we're, we're probably talking twenty one thirty. Um, yeah, the technology is going to be good. Gabe Ben is like straight up a Futurama yeah. head in the jar with like a Vive on. Stab yep. in the back of the neck. Rock on. <laughs> talk about spoons and yeah, that'd be great. I'll do it. But yeah, in its current form, no, mm -mm. It, especially if, like, what is that? It's a, is it still a grand for the full kit? It's a little over a grand ish. For the yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 11, 1200. Tempted to get you one just to see you try to set it up in your apartment in Toronto, which is not spacious. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I could, I'm, th I'm thinking maybe I could rear it myself. Like, this this is the problem I see in like the the future with like the Star Trek holodecks is I will punch holes in the holodeck walls. I get that like the uh, the floors are supposed to be like treadmills. That would not stop me. No, I built up a lot of momentum. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I look forward to this. I do. We do have yeah, all directional threadmills. <laughs> threadmills, baby. Proton four eleven dash eleven. They fixed a thing I ran into last week. Uh, I was playing Wolfenstein: The New Order Part Two, the sequel. Oh, I grabbed that because I was on sale too. Dude, uh, that's a fun one to go through, but this fixes stuttering in the uh, mouse cursor after long play sessions because let's be honest, uh, 
we're, we're playing a game for a different operating system I'm using. But it's like, oh, look, I noticed this like towards the end of the first hour on the live stream last week with that. That is moving left and right. It's like, ah, this is just whatever, you know, Vulcan's jacked up or maybe OBS is having issues. Turns out you know, it wasn't on my end, which it's fixed because we finished it last night after some other technical issues. But <laughs> cool. I'm down with that. Yeah. The, and the, they the also, other, um, go ahead. Uh, they, nope. uh, too late. They got, they got okay. The, I guess I'm going, uh, they, uh, they backported the patches for GTA five, which if you've been paying attention, we mentioned that, uh, couple, couple of months ago, um, when rockstar oh, released oh, Red Dead oh, Redemption two, man, you want to throw some shade on Skyrim job. Yeah. Let's talk about GTA. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean the issues with the Bethesda, the newer Bethesda games were well documented, but yeah, GTA was working fine. And then uh, Rockstar released Red Dead Redemption Two, and they updated the launcher, and everything went to shit, and the game no longer worked. Well, uh, those patches were introduced with the latest version of Wine, and they've been backported to Proton Four Eleven, <laughs> which is awesome. Sweet. So it's playable speaking, now. <laughs> speaking of that, uh, they've also gobbled up the big dig, Dicks Vix merge that we're going to talk a little bit more in oh, depth yes. later. So spo spoiler alert for Lads, the news Before segment. we do that, I believe we should address the egg rolls. The glorious, glorious Delicious egg rolls. Egg rolls. Yes. I was going to say and, egg uh, rolls in the room, and I was like, that wouldn't last long. What's the life expectancy <laughs> on that with this lot? Uh, uh, about 30 uh, seconds. It would, yeah, it, yeah, ish. Can I gulp it down with a straw? Oh, uh, we're talking but, about yeah. eating it. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta, gotta deep throat the egg roll, man. This is a glorious egg roll version of Proton. This is based on Wine 421. And yeah, it's, uh, it's the second release. And it is, well, it also comes with the, um, the like D9VK, DXVK uh, update, and it makes uh, the GTA 5 launcher work again. Mm. And the, the interesting bit that kind of jumped out at me was uh, they disabled Proton's input handler in favor uh, of the staging wine ones. So the, the way that Proton uh, differed, like the the way that Valve was sort of handling um, the controllers was working very well. And in fact, it worked much better uh, than um, the official wine ones. But apparently, that's not the case anymore. Mm. I'm curious. <laughs> mm. Well, we we, we got we to gotta keep an eye open and see if that gets reverted in the next Glorious Egg Roll release. Like, yeah. no, actually, the Proton ones were better. Sorry about that, guys. Mm. <laughs> they got the uh, Halo stuff working now, though, kind yeah, of. They, and by working, yeah, I mean it. You can, you, launch, you can play you can the single player. Oh, okay. No, yeah. you, you can do single player. Uh, multiplayer is still busted because of easy anti-cheat. But, mm. you know, the single player Halo campaigns are still pretty good. I'd like so. to see some movement on that. There was some game that released. Uh, it was a free-to-play game. It's the only reason I bothered with it. It, it was first-person shooter. There's a bunch of those. And, yeah. of course, mm. like I was like, oh, look, this might run. Oh, it's easy anti-cheat install. Well, let's just next that. But yeah, I guess well, we should give it a mention, you know, that, that we have the merge of D9VK and uh, DXVK. Mm -hmm. That, mm -hmm. That's a unique solution to a problem, isn't it? It is. It's it going is. to make Valve's job of uh, rolling it uh, all up into a Proton that much easier. This is true. I don't, so, oh, I do want to point out that they did. You mention that they've disabled the uh, this uh, Glorious Segro build. Uh, disabled the async, which was always the quite mm. possibly could get you nerfed. Oh no! Uh, but they did. Um, it's true. Mm. I, I, I don't know. I, I, got, I, got some, I got some thoughts on the DXVK, v, D9VK thing, but, you know, save that for the actual time where we cover that story. <laughs> Let's it's time for my favorite game. Declaration of Independence. Was that that movie? Uh, National know. Treasure. Night at the Museum? No, you're, yeah. <laughs> Night at the Museum and National Treasure are two different movies. No, it's not. I Same know, movie. Okay. La, 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 la. I, Golf with your friends. I understand Museum why you're confused. Update is live. Uh, dude, it's currently 519. Pick that up. We might play it in the after show and Jordan can watch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a Shot new museum-themed 18-hole course. Uh, the UI and HUD, that's oh. different. I noticed that. I played through that. New cursed objects and obstacles. <laughs> Isn't everything cursed in this game? Uh, hazard. They get a little trailer. This game is cursed. Dude, uh, they're actually getting a little bit of polish on this game, and I will report this runs better than the Worms WMD thing that we tried, which is a level that wasn't with a very jetpacks. high bar. Well, you know, this map does have the ability to run over 20 FERPs. 
Oh, oh, that's nice. Wow. <laughs> See, that, that thing looks like a giant pile of nope. I'm glad I'm not Scorpion playing. nopes. <laughs> the rock's going to jump out and be like, where's my egg roll? <laughs> no, it, it, it grabs your ball and is like, get over here. Yes. I'm down Anyways. with it. Uh, I'm always a little worried with golf with your fiends, simply because I do feel part of the charm. It's just how broken the game was the there's, part, there's no the challenge of just like getting into it and getting everyone lined up like <laughs> hmm, maybe no I I, just, irredeemable irredeemable it's honestly it's one of those games that the more thought you put into it the more you hate it mm. so i guess that explains jordan's thing I, uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm, I'm just full of hitting bees. Oh, <laughs> Speaking of bees. Well, bees. Yeah, if you want to shoot some bees at people or just, you know, throw things around as the case may be, you can finally play Life is Strange 2. Out okay, now for so Mac you OS were talking about bees, and I'm like, did I get the wrong story? But now I'm interested in this game because I was unaware of the bees. <laughs> I, well, I, I don't know if they're throwing been, bees around. It was just like nope, the whole you, powers you, thing. You just promised me bees. So if I go buy this, I better get some bees. <laughs> by, Look, by Life supposedly is Strange the two, two brothers. It, 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 it's on, it's on, the, the first episode is on sale for two forty nine on Steam. And if you buy it, yeah. Valve will just send you a box full of bees. All right. That's sold. <laughs> <laughs> that seems likely. Uh, but yeah, apparently they have these two brothers and they have like this terrible secret. I mean, they have superpowers because this is life is, is strange. Are, are they in a van and then a meteor hit? Oh, I wish scorpions could fly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, I think I heard that Prince song. If, yeah, if for some reason you liked Life is Strange, but uh, instead of playing as a teenage girl, you'd rather play with as a teenage boy and play his... Play with um, a teenage boy, Pedro? I caught yes, that as I saw a, you. a teenage boy. Hey man, <laughs> it's got oh, more, we, we got to look at this. I thought I saw it like a levitating kitty yes. cat. They have powers. Yep. Tell that oh. to that poor kitty cat. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> Watch out, kitty cat. They got it, it, Jedi. It's Yoda. Dude is straight up Yoda. Oh, yeah. Size matters not. <laughs> Or sniping, I shoot. Mm. Oh, so yeah, if you want to buy the full game, uh, you'll still have to drop uh, sixteen pounds around these here uh, parts. So it'll be around twenty um, US this game, dollars. This game's so old. Episodic gaming was still a thing. Um, yes, well, <laughs> it's twenty eighteen. It's not that old, that's, but yeah, that's the thing. For like for for two for two bucks, you can get the uh, first episode. Um, which is a good deal if you don't like it, but it's a bad deal if you do like it, because yeah. if you buy the complete pack, you still have to pay the full price for the complete pack, even though you bought yeah. the first game already. <laughs> so maybe, maybe just buy the full thing. It's 24 bucks. We need to point out it requires the Vulcans. Uh, it Intel does. GPUs it is a feral port, so. Die yeah. all the fires. <laughs> uh, NVIDIA 430 or above. You need the Misa 1912, which is good. Or... Oh. OS, it runs on 18.04 with a canonical Ubuntu, so good on that. So that pretty much means, it'll, ooh, it's 42 gigs. Ouch. Of course I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty standard these days for AAA. Like, you you need all exactly. that space to, for, for to all of the... So large. Yeah, all, all of the cutscenes mildly interrupted by some random QTEs. Yeah. I don't know. Life, <laughs> life, just, uh, just like life is Strange has always reminded me of like a Telltale game with a uh, physics engine. Something like that. I mean, some some eh. some people are into it, and it's cheap. So if you're in, if you, well, if you're into Life is Strange, you can play it on Linux without Proton. <laughs> yes. Any, yes. Any, anyways, speak, speaking of games we've never seen before, here's a nope. game we've seen a bunch of times. Before. Never heard of it. Uh, yeah, this is Red Eclipse <laughs> Two. Now, when you look looking at this, you might think uh, it looks like a quack. It smells like a quack, but it's actually based on the Cube Engine, which is Remember a that, quake kids? light game. Yeah. Oh. Um, also, also, this this is one of the rare games on Steam that actually has a BSD client. We're just waiting on that uh, Steam BSD. Curse um, you, Red Eclipse developers! How will I get work done? Right. Um, virus. It is. No oh, haiku. Wait, does it have a network stack? Yeah, uh, haiku. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think I think you can still technically run Wine and haiku. I don't know. Dude. But anyway, anyways, it's it's basically a quick like game um, that you can pick up on Steam. It's entirely free, so that's nice. Yep. Uh, you don't have to pay for it. Um, and yeah, if it looks you're very tired of playing eclipsing. Open Arena and want to try something else that's very similar, there you go. Red yeah, game. it looks very Unreal Tournament-y. Yeah. 
1404, uh, Steam House, Broadband, 3 gigs. Yeah, maybe we will do that one Friday night. Um, it, maybe. It is free, so yeah, it yeah. won't cost you anything to just give it a shot. Price to sell. <laughs> oh, I do need to plug that for about uh, this upcoming Friday, Fubar, we're doing the Jackbox last uh, thing of the month. That's so. la the last Jackbox of the year. Yeah. 2019 yeah. Jackoff. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't work. <laughs> it absolutely does, Sven. You're a monster. <laughs> That's all it, it does now. <laughs> it does now. All right, coming up next, Fusion Ha! There are many ways you can interact with Linux Gamecast. There are four One of ways. Which, well, there are four ways, Not but. For uh, a Jedi. It depends. What if I might? <laughs> it's Wait. the path to the dark side. But uh, no, uh, there are ways that you can actually um, say, give us things that cause physical pain. Four of them. Jeez, it. Yes. I just realized like, how <laughs> broken my hands are. <laughs> like, there are also uh, four um, wish lists on okay, our website that you can totally topic. go have a list. <laughs> Jordan, I did not know the Vulcan thing was like a Jewish thing. It is, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Shalom. Shalom. Derail, okay. derail. <laughs> yes. Hava Nagila, Hava Nagila, Hava Nagila. We're gonna raise Ben up on his chair. We're gonna yeah, dance baby. around in a circle. Let's if you it. wanna, if, if you wanna join this this wonderful time of our life where we celebrate Ben finally becoming a man, you can send your donations over to a number of our things accessible via our website. If you go to LinuxGameCast.com, pass over that support tab. We got. We got Amazon wish list. We got Patreon. We got PayPal. We got uh, Bitcoin. We got uh, all sorts of stuff. You can click on help support the show. Best way to yes, do it, sir. though, is to head on over to uh, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Becoming a Patreon gets you some cool stuff like access to our Discord channel and access to the show notes. You can sort of watch the episode congeal in real time during the week. Bar mitzvahs. And then and <laughs> bar, bar mitzvahs. We're going to give Pedro okay. a bris. He, we're going to finally get rid of that pesky no, foreskin no, of his. No, no, no. I got the email from Patreon. They said we had to stop doing that <laughs> because uh, of a multitude of reasons. Um, uh, can I still have your foreskin? It's great for cosmetics, I hear. got to be licensed. We didn't know. I'm bad. <laughs> Indeed. Um... But yeah, uh, being a Patreon also gets you access to the pre-pre super shows, and, which is supposed to be a production meeting, but really mm -hmm. just turns out into like us bitching about TV shows and movies. You know, I'm kind of proud Pretty of what much. we did during that. <laughs> uh, we have a video stream of that too. If you want to join us live and participate, dude, we kind of covered the Star Wars, but we genuinely covered the Witcher series without dropping any spoilers. This is mm -hmm. more or less true. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, there was that bit stuff. about a dragon at one point. <laughs> And his name was Trogdor. Trogdor. Anyways, um, we got we got uh, wish lists. If uh, we get we get, th thanks to uh, Michel G, we got a brand new fuck. Damn it! I got to get markers. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You, 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 it, it enables us to creep on Ven's stuff because we can see the reflection on off the glare now. Yeah, it's you can great. see the gloss. <laughs> yeah. Pedro now has the lumbar support he desperately requires. Because he has no ass. It's amazing. He is assless. <laughs> he needs to do more squats. I got. I have I got a comfortable a, amount of ass. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. I got. I got a butter infuser. It, 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 it came with. It came with a note from Mike G. Actually, uh -oh. it says. It says. I can't imagine you making butter. So that's what you get from your wish list. Happy holidays. Keep up the good work. Yeah, by the way, if you buy stuff off of our uh, wish list, you can send us a little noty poo, and we have to read it. Yeah, that's the thing. If there was a note that came with this chair, I didn't get it. So you're going to have to let me know. <laughs> did, you, did you get a love letter, Ven? I got markers. Fuck both of you. <laughs> what, how, do, how do they smell like? They're fucking delicious. I mean, smell? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm too yeah. busy eating. I, I, I mean, we... we if, if you want, if you if you want some uh, last minute Christmas gifts, Hanukkah gifts, Kwanzaa gifts, Diwali gifts, I don't know, whatever the fuck you sell. Great Festivus. It's Festivus. not my problem. Yes. But you can you can head on over to store.linkscamecast.com. We got some hail Santa shirts. We I kind of thought maybe that would stickers. work, Pedro. Like you know when you spray water on a cat, didn't even slow him down. He didn't even blink. He's like, nope, <laughs> nope. power through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, store yeah, store.linkscamecast.com. We got some good stuff. We got hoodies. Mm -hmm. We got t-shirts. We got mouse pads. We got stickers, we got coffee mugs. Dude, if you have a time machine, uh, you can go back to Wednesday and everything was 10 percent off. Well, sucks <laughs> yes. to you, future people. Ah. Uh, so yeah, uh, I got to thank all the people supporting us, making this possible, enabling us to stream five fucking days a week. Man, Amen. you get 
get a lot of Linux gaming content. We drop out, out the podcast uh, and the audio forms and the video forms, and it lets us keep all of that nonsense online, so you can just get it anytime you want without us. We're not tracking your ass or anything like that. I got to cut this thing on. Yes, uh, <laughs> and uh, if you can't, uh, you yeah, if you can't, you know. Ac- actively support us monetarily or through the wish list. Share our things. The great, the best thing you can actually do is just share it. Go to your local social medias, uh, whichever one you use, and uh, yeah, just tell people about the show. Don't you know? Don't emphasize the Linux thing. Just uh, f- yeah, say we're no, a yeah, fun we're, bunch. We're, 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 <laughs> no, just, just, just say we're a show about Windows. They can't tell the difference. This sucks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, how, much, how much do they cost? 20 bucks, you said? These these are like yeah. $9 a piece, man. But that, that, Holy. that one's not. I know, right? What what color? <laughs> what, what What's our alt color for Mike? Pink. Pink. Eh, Pink. I, 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 I really want orange. I, I, I don't know what colors are available. <laughs> shake that weight. Shake, 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 shake. Did I use shake, like an shake, alternate shake. color of orange? Shake Let me try that marker. Maybe we could try red. Let's see if this works. We have color. This will be this, this, this is some great A fucking content. Podcast <laughs> listeners, I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry at all. No. You, you, you get to sit through our descriptions of Ven trying to white, write stuff on a whiteboard. Well, it's a blackboard. Neon board? Magic yeah, bla- board. I mean, bla- blackboard implies chalk. <laughs> Fuck. All is yours, bitches. <laughs> oh man, look at creep! Look at the creeping! Look at the creeping! It's so creepy. <laughs> I like the hashtag LGC cares at the bottom. Fuck yeah! <laughs> that that uh, one is uh, me uh, going. Uh, how does this thing work? I don't want to have to erase it. I, I, I like that power cable at the bottom that I wouldn't have otherwise noticed if it wasn't for Ven explicitly pointing it out. <laughs> On to the news. Right. All yes. right. B- b- big news this week. Uh. Dixvix poll 1275 means that D9VK is implemented as a front end of DXVK. No longer do you need to download two things to get Vulcany goodness on your Windows games. Under Linux, it's one thing now. Uh, so, uh, this, the, I mean, right now, what that means, not much short of having one less library to manage. It was also, I think, a little nice that you could mix and match the different versions so that um, if yeah. the regression gets int- introduced, then like you have a backup. So, but nope. it, it's good to have it all under one roof. It means that the back end is stabilized and you can add more front ends. Maybe we'll, we'll get a DirectX 12. No side ends. You bring up a very good point with that though, Mix, but I don't know how often I ever really mixed and matched. It, it really, it really only matters if you have like the one prefix, but I mean, okay. it, it, it's, it's a, it's a thing, right? It's a concern. Some people oh, yeah. might want, uh, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice to have. Uh, this means that, uh, there's a couple new items on the roadmap where they got to, they got to fix, uh, precision or function bump mapping and pre-modulation, uh, software cursor stuff. Um, so yeah, now, uh, no longer, no longer will you need to download D9 VK. Pedro, I've installed like seven Linux, but I'm an expert. I don't know what any of this is. What is uh, DXVK? So Dix Vix, as we like to call it around here, was uh, the little Proton, uh, well, it Proton popularized it, so to speak, but it became very uh, quickly was one of the most popular wine add-ons that basically translated like DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 to Vulkan which meant that despite Wine itself not supporting, not having a complete DirectX 11 implementation, a lot of games that made use of DirectX 11 all of a sudden worked really well mm. with yeah, Vulkan, the, the, nonetheless. The, 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 the secret there is instead of having like a D3D.dll, this thing would replace it. Um, and, yep. and it basically implements all the functions that DirectX implements, but their backend is Vulkan. So... <laughs> And as now, as the, uh, uh, yeah, D9VK means that uh, all the DirectX 9 stuff, and I'm willing to bet a lot of the DirectX 8 games, like the older ones, will we don't probably speak work of too. That on this show, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, that's that's a that's a bold claim, Pedro. I'm, I will say like, this: DXVK or DX uh, D9VK 100% took a game like I made a video about showing how well it worked with Sonic and Bayonetta and uh, like DMC. It night and day difference. You you could take something that could barely, and I mean barely, we're talking on a 2060, on a Threadripper, maintain 
60 FERPs at 1080 to something that was like 160, 200. Yeah. yeah. And DirectX 9 by itself was already pretty uh, CPU bound as it was. And when you feed that through the wine translation layer, all of a sudden that problem only gets worse. But you push it to Vulkan, you give it as many threads as the API will take off of your processor, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, that CPU bottleneck, gone. Mm. <laughs> although, 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 as I discovered on uh, Thursday, uh, sometimes sometimes the performance <laughs> is a little less stable than uh, using the OpenGL renderer, but, you know, it is what it is. Right? It's yeah. good, no. it's, good <laughs> it, 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 it's the right tool for the right, right job. The nice thing is that there are options. So You, you know, I think it. another nice thing is it doesn't data mine your ass. This is this yeah. Is true. Unlike say Unity and uh, people on Reddit uh, discovered that if you went to your .dot config Unity 3D folders, there's there's a um, like a general global prefs file that you can open, and it will contain a line that says analytics enabled, true, connect, blah, 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 blah. and basically yeah, it's a uh, a bit of a. Um, data collection that unity is doing by default and yeah apparently uh you can find those uh, for specific games if you go into the specific game folder there's also the uh, thing there and uh you can set analytics per game but the default global prefs file hey look is it's enabled it's yeah. So. Oh, yeah yeah it is patreon <laughs> the naked yeah, truth yeah. himself <laughs> It's, it's always fun to like go through some of these uh, Linux Central Gaming threads. You're like, hey, I know that guy. He gives us money. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, I hadn't um, found that file uh, on my system, but I never actually thought of opening it. I'd seen it there. It's like, oh, that's a thing. Yeah, I and think that, the and that, I, top thing with me, man, is I don't mind sending... I was going to say snacks. I don't mind sending snacks no either. Snacks. <laughs> these, are, these are tiny little digital snacks for Unity. I don't mind giving up the data, man. I, I mean, I, I make that Faustian deal with the Googs. I make it with Amazon, but I get something in return. This shit, I wouldn't have a problem with it. If, you know, some games will. They are few and they are rare. They're like, hey, man. But that's usually for the developers. This, this bullshit should be straight up, big blinky button, opt in. Because I, I I did a little search, you know, it's like I didn't have any Unity titles actively. I had two actively installed, but I had a game that I hadn't played in a year, sitting there happily toiling away, going, "Here's some data bits." Like that's some bullshit. I mean, unpopular. You have to be running it for it to actually. Yeah, don't send care. Stuff. I don't like it being there. <laughs> also, when right, I un and uninstall something, nuke it for more of it. No, I, I, I disagree with that. Sometimes you want to keep the save files present in case you need to reinstall it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> but, it, but but anyways, yeah. So like Pedro was saying, you got to set it per game. Um, so the, the Reddit thread actually provides a couple solutions. You can uh, use your host denial, deny to just straight up black hole all the, tr all the uh, URIs that it would send stuff to. Um, mm -hmm. There's someone that had a little bash script that you could stick in your cron file so that every time... Um, uh, every so every so often, it'll go and disable that for all the games, and you can disable it in the global press file. file so any new games right. will have yep. that turned off by default. That's definitely um, something you wanted, and this would not have even been an issue if this was just something that was known. Like this should have been handled. Somebody should have posted this on Linux underscore gaming. Like, hey, Unity tracks, and the everyone should have went. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's not the reaction that. We had anyway. No sheep. What does "ba" mean in the world of um? Ba DevOps? means blam. Okay. Sometimes "ba" means vim, and uh, well, this is uh, well, it's a game for Looks vim, like a, and what it does game. is, uh, or its intent is to like teach you the um, vim the syntax. key, the hotkeys for um for vim, and yeah, it it is, it's a game. I mean the. Hey. the you have Emacs that has its own video editor, but yeah, Vim has a game now. That's so. That's, e e e this. Emacs also ships with Tetris by default. You know, <laughs> just typing in "kill, kill, kill" into Vim. I mean, that's a valid val. You could unintentionally try to quit. Computer yes. kill Flanders. Mm. Uh, Fire cannon. Uh, but yeah, like um, if you can't run, if you can't install Rogue on your production servers, <laughs> and it's a late night, and you just want to kill some time, and you're stuck at work, there's there's a thing you can play a little 
little shooter in in your vims oh man so what's the under and over of like getting an xbox wireless controller to work with vim because i would have said sure, Steam I'm controller sure some, but i know i could make that happen I, i'm sure someone has done it mm. what yeah I, what if <laughs> they i'm using probably like one got of the, the guitar um, controller <laughs> if i'm using one of the new xbox controllers with that new slim dongle that's not a euphemism ladies and gentlemen <laughs> but it's something you can now use on your linux box Zow. I'm going to call it Linux drivers for the Xbox One wireless dongle. Oh, it's a thing, Vin. Yes, but this is for the brand new hot. I think Scott, Scott, you spent like, I don't even want to know, 200 like, Canadian dollars oof, yeah. for something. On that, the Elite controller. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, maybe you burnt that kind of cash and uh, <laughs> you want to use it under Linux. It's now a supported order. device, man, for you can play around with it and but it doesn't work with a chonky one. They are looking for uh, capture, log captures. So if you can send those data bits in, come check this nonsense out in the show notes so you can find out how to get to this. You can run it, make it build, and uh, okay. I, I I would never, because like even that first Xbox controller was stupid expensive. Dummy expensive, the kids might even say. The Duke? <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the first, like, uh, people are actually going to no the pro elite YOLO swag edition with like rotatable ah the yeah ah, the elite one, yes. okay <laughs> yeah there nothing none of us would hold up because if you did I'd disown your ass um <laughs> yeah I want to play with one of them but I'm not paying 150 well, the, pounds for one of them yeah I mean they the the one thing that's nice about them is they have like the steam controller esque paddles on the back mm -hmm. which actually which I actually really like as like a controller thing did you see uh, the adapter for the uh PlayStation controllers. PlayStation yeah, released releases one last paddles. week. Yeah, it's got an OLED screen because <laughs> yeah. it needs to cost thirty dollars more than it should, and it's got paddles. Why, 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 why not? You know what? When the when the PS Five comes out, they're probably going to release like a new fucked up DualShock. I want a hardwired Ethernet jack. Oh, it needs to be powered over Ethernet. No, it no, means. it doesn't do fuck all, man. It's just not one. <laughs> it, you, you can you can make, it has like a dial up modem. You can make uh, you can connect it to the internet. It'd be awesome. That's how, that's can how, I get, that's can I get like an SFP plus ten gig mod? No, forty gig module. In, yes. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Sony will do that for you. They probably will. Um, but yeah, uh, speaking speaking of uh, speaking of controllers, um, there, uh, our Theron sent this our way. Uh, you can do that if you're a Patreon. Uh, it's the open joystick display, or Odate at Odate or yeah, the, yeah, OJD hi. Project. <laughs> dot com. Third time's a charm. <laughs> I can I can say words in English. Good. <laughs> Shut up, man. Um, someone, you really let the cat out of the oven. Um, yeah, indeed. Uh, but it's a it's I an overlay. The burn fuser. You can. I haven't even used that yet, man. That's the problem. You, you just wait. You just wait, son. You just wait, son. It's happening. I'll come visit um, you in the hospital. Don't worry. It's it's an overlay. You can implement. You can implement it in OBS. And the idea is that it will show what buttons you are pressing to the people watching your stream, which is great because you can give the evidence, give people the evidence they need to talk smack about why you suck at the video games you're streaming. Okay, on a um, scale of your first thought is like, how do I use this to fuck with the people watching my stream? Uh, set, set it up with a GameCube controller, but use a Guitar Hero controller. I, yeah. Is there one for an, like the original 2600 Atari? <laughs> <laughs> there might actually be. I don't know. <laughs> Just the joystick. <laughs> um, I, the, one, the one thing, though, I, I was thinking about the, it is this actually might be useful for something like uh, fighting game competitions, right? Where you can, like, see how people are comboing. Best controller like ever made right there. Sure. The, uh, I prefer the Saturn one, but yes. Because <laughs> you're a child. Nerd fight! <laughs> um, Worst controller ever made. <laughs> No, it's gr it's great because if you hated the per if the person next to you was winning, you could just stab them with it. True. Um, <laughs> this was much. also a pretty shite controller too. The original um, yeah. Sega Master System one. Yeah. yeah. Didn't like the Super Nintendo. I mean, the I could Super, use it. Super Nintendo's all right. Mm. Um, okay. The, the okay. All right. no, best no, controller no, no, right no. there. Uh, put the kibosh on this because we that could be the rest <laughs> of the show. Let's yeah, that, rate controllers. <laughs> yeah, rate rate my controller dot org. Someone someone start that website, please. Um, but yeah, but, you uh, know. Yes, Pedro. I was going to say when when I finish um, 
open mw keep an eye on the stream because that might be a thing that i play w with uh on the next game what the fuck are you gonna do with that man you're just gonna like no game we're just gonna show that this is gonna be the screen guess what game no, no, is playing yes. by the button <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he, he, yeah he, he's, no, he's, play, he's the, playing dark souls sound. <laughs> he's, he's, he's playing Dark Souls. You can't see it. You can only see the buttons he's pressing and the reaction of his face when he dies. It'll be like some new type of like ASR, but it'll be a button. P PSMR. <laughs> PSMR. That's what it is. Yeah. That'll be great. Uh, PMSR. Uh, anyway. All right. Uh, sp sp speaking of uh, speaking of controllers in progress, we there. Oh my God! It's an article from a Windows blog that positively mentions Linux. We made it. We finally made it. Linux is now a real boy because it's why are we on WindowsCentral.com? Flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> Forgive me for what I've done. <laughs> However, they do have an article. Linux is now a viable OS for PC gamers thanks to Steam's Proton Initiative. So they kind of rock and roll with this, man. They, they go, you know, like right here in the opening salvo, they're like, Windows has always been viewed as an absolute best platform for gaming, to which I will retort. Someone clearly doesn't know the history of the Windows game SDK. You might know it by its Christian name, DirectX. That had to be created because fuck all no one was making games for Windows. Everything ran <laughs> in DOS. Now, that's not the only cray cray thing in here, Pedro. No, no, it isn't. Uh, there's actually a couple of uh, interesting quotes. And the one I found uh, when the uh, author of the article is going like, yeah, and when I rebooted uh, to the installed system with everything working aside from the Logitech C920 webcam. That, and that my thing question that you're seeing is, my face through, by the way. How? Cause you, yeah, cause you because... He plugged it in the Ethernet port. That's the only explanation. All three of us, at one point, we've had a oh. C920 camera. I and knew that oh, was no. going to feel good, but I didn't realize how good that was going to be. I, I, I might just have to want to roll like this. Um, Listen, I'm, yeah. I'm, fine, I'm fine with existing in the void. Quiet, disembodied voice of Jordan. Never! You will go to the rats of Nim. <laughs> But yeah, no, that, that one jumped out at me because it's like, how did you manage that? And he he's running Ubuntu, so how mm. how did that happen exactly? Like I said, he, he plugged he plugged it in an Ethernet port. It, <laughs> it's it's really stupid that Ethernet ports and USB ports are the exact same width, so you can actually yes. cram a USB. <laughs> Pedro, to your, to your point, that was like the one thing a, a, a webcam, like especially a launch attack webcam not working under linux after plugging it is the equivalent of like my keyboard doesn't work yeah. like how yeah how does that happen <laughs> you know i keep Magic. threatening to make i mean especially under the ubuntu's too i mean it's going to work everywhere but the a video install series of like oh how do i install my because you know you're coming from windows man you got to download like drivers and all that nasty stuff like a C920 or a Logitech Brio, their new hotness. How do you install it? I want to do like a nice video of like hmm? credits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dude, uh, he does have some nice things to say about, you know, hey man, it wasn't a lot of work to get up uh, NVIDIA G-Sync and all that. Setting up Steam, Discord, bunch of other apps. It it's like, uh, certainly made strides in perfecting the UX. So, okay, let's talk about gaming. Performance slightly behind on Linux. Fair, uh, but we get mentions of wine, DXVK, and doesn't bring up the fact. I mean, Proton's only been out for like a hot second, which yeah, Lutra, Lutris used to be the thing you need. Lupus, to use. yeah, baby. Yep. So it's never lupus, but yeah, he also mentions that. Uh, oh yeah, Microsoft should be worried because Linux is becoming a better gaming OS. Honestly. I'm pretty sure there's someone, there's a team of people at Microsoft that are going, yes, if those guys get good enough at playing the video games, we don't have to worry about it going forward. There's no well, one Microsoft doing that. Microsoft's <laughs> sitting back going, uh, you're going to be streaming your desktop a decade from now. So eat a bag of dicks. We don't care. Have Listen, your fun. You, 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 need to, you need to buy the monolith that is the Xbox One Series X. Series Y, Series the Z, 360. Dude, no, it's, listen, it's, it's the Microsoft, I'm on to you. Just ups. because you filed the serial numbers off a of Dell Optiplex, I know what that thing is, man. Yeah, I mean... It's, <laughs> so so here, here, here's the thing. Um, in the article, they again, they bring up the big elephant in the room, and that's easy anti-cheat makes playing yeah. multiplayer games under Linux basically a non-starter. 
Um, and a lot of games, especially multiplayer games, use it. If you a lot, play it especially the free to play ones. Let me throw in like a multiplier. A lot of free games use it too. Yes. <gasps> <laughs> and indeed so eventually that will have to get sorted probably not if tim has anything to say about it but i mean it's it's been uh it's been a, a quite the almost eight year stretch kind i mean of, when we start know, a good mention of Vulcan. i mean the technology is it, it's we, we've said it multiple times on this show that you're running out of excuses and we're also talking to developers when we say that yeah which again yeah. i don't want to fucking support linux perfectly valid i'll accept that we can still be friends but yeah yeah just don't release your game on linux don't pretend like you did Hi, or Gary. don't pretend like well there's <laughs> fragmentation and again you don't have to go down to the linux store and buy a linux box don't test mm -hmm. your shit in a vm that doesn't work <laughs> but i can't afford another computer anyways uh, but yeah, it, it's it's been it's been crazy. It's been a crazy eight years. We've had a substantial leap in the technology. Mm -hmm. Gaming under Linux has almost reached feature parity with Windows. It's mm -hmm. quite insane. It's almost to the point where like I, we we stopped talking about heretic purchases because now right. it's just sort of the accepted the accepted reality is we're stuck with Proton. We're stuck with Wine. Win32 is the Win32 has one as the default gaming API for personal computers. So we're just going to implement our own shit, and it's going to work just as well. In, in some Frank cases, just even said he better. likes your fanfic about <laughs> counting heretic purchases. I mean, when, when was when was the last time you burned a heretic purchase? I have three left. Okay, Mazel Tov. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'll just I, 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 will, I will. Right you, now, fat, fat, fat. Do you, keep um, do you count those? <laughs> do I do I count the times I masturbate? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Ooh, super OCD. Right on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he keeps a diary. It's just full of smiley faces. It, 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 it's my, it's my captain. It's my captain's log. The captain. <laughs> Netflix, call us. CBS All Access, baby. All, All Access. Pornhub. Call you us. You got a golf club for that one. YouTube. Eat a bag of dicks. You've already demonetized this. One. All right. Thank you, patrons. Coming up next, the front chairs that dead ends jo dead end jobs and it's non-existent multiplayer. Let's go. Now welcome back to the Chairquisition, where we're gonna find out if games are naughty on or nice via 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 Fedora and Neon and Debian, and then we can ask the question if they're fun. Uh, this week we're taking a look at Dead End Job by Ant Workshop uh, Limited. It's done on Unity. Uh, you can pick it up for about 15 bucks. What is it? Dead End Job sends you into a mad camp, Ren and Stimpy-esque world. See, Ven, I told you. To bust up ghosts <laughs> in a procedurally generated couch co-op twin stick shooter that straps a vacuum pack to your back and puts a plasma blaster in your hand. For you, it's just another day in the office. Head up games, send us some keys, so thanks a lot. Uh, we will uh, begin now. Ben, how did it written on no. uh, Devin? Damn it. Do it. That wasn't your fashion slog. <laughs> That's too quick. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Start it. No. Damn it. Uh, there. There's the button. Fine. Um, okay. Debian. Stale. You know it. You love it. I'm running it on my 1920X. 32 gigs of RAM. NVIDIA 2060. Displayed at UHD. Uh, Pedro will touch on this. It does have a like just blank screen of nothingness. That is repeatable. However, you can fight it by... Vulcan nerve pinch your way out, restart the game, and it does the thing. Most people would do that, you know. So I'm, I'm not going to ding you a chair for that because, you know, you try that. And you're like, oh, can I get back in? I'll let you right back in. Uh, performance, look at it. Eh, you're going to get 60. I was running it at 1080. Then I ran it at 30, 40, 21, 60. It's like I'm still at 60. Graphics, didn't see any glitches. Control, I do want to touch on. Because I tried it on my X clue. That... Uh, that's the standard. When you break that out, you're like, God, oh, doesn't have controller support. That's kind of bullshit. Let's try it with a Steam controller. No, man, how do you not work with this? Then I broke out red, the PS4, like, man, it's like, motherfucker, if I work, I'm still not going to have the right button prompts controller. Worked. Correct button prompts. No problem whatsoever. Uh, I guess you could use the keyboard and triple, but... Yeah, that's weird. It's the first time I ever had that happen. However, for that, I'll give you three. 
Yeah, on uh, Fedora 3064 bit with the 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti. Um, yeah, they really got to sort that launch thing. I mean, like like Ven said, the workaround is basically what you would do anyways. But still, like this is a thing you should have caught in QA. But you know. anywho, um, performance at 1080p. There's like some initial herky jerk I noticed, but like after about a second or two, it just holds 60. Um, Graphics kind of remind me of like a flash game from Newgrounds. They weren't kidding about the Ren and Stimpy inspired uh, design. They went a little, it's not quite plagiarismo, but uh, it's just pretty <laughs> close. Um, and uh, control wise, everything works and is reasonably mapped. So I will give it four chairs. Yeah, very much on the first launch over here in Neon Land with the Bryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080. Uh, yeah, it got stuck on a black screen after you create the initial profile. Nothing. I waited and I waited and I waited. Nothing. It's like, okay, Alt F4, start the game again. Oh, now it's working. I'm going to call that a hiccup. But then uh, both Ven and Jordan ran into the same thing, so I have to send someone an email. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the performance at 1080, it mostly stays at 144 hertz on the uh, 1440p screen that I have. Uh, it's still usually only during the loading screens that it'll dip. And you can see, like, the bit of herky-jerky during the loading. But yeah, that's loading sort of to be expected, and that's fine by me. So not going to get a chair for that. And the controls, yeah, the DualShock 4 worked fine out of the box. So four chairs for me. All right, well, there you go. It works the second time around. Yay. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what was was after all that, was it fun then? Did you enjoy yourself? Did you have a blast? I don't know, Jordan. What do you look for in a top-down shooter? That's rhetorical. Don't say anything. Uh, because I look for a smooth range of fire. And dead end job, it lacks it. It lacks it hard. Sorry, not sorry. I mean, that not-so-little issue has bugged me for the entirety of my playtime. It's like you're firing in quadrants, up, down, left, and right, and no gradual moving. Between that, you know, it's like you're making with a pew-pew. That jerk between those quadrants can eat a bag of Nixons. Um... It works as a game, I guess, dot JPEG, unless yeah, kind of count the multiplayer because seriously, we tried that earlier. Uh, what the hell is that nonsense? As for the game proper, single player, it's roguelike, that's plain, it's simple. You pew some ghosts, you suck them off, or maybe you suck them up, I get confused. Upgrade the things, collect some coin, not much to it. However, maybe you think like multiplayer is going to add a new dimension to it. Well, guess what, kids? Multiplayer, player two, you have the ability, I'm waiting for it, to annoy the ghost. That's pretty much all you can do. Womp womp. Yeah, you basically play the role of a participation trophy. Not really what I'm looking for in my um, simultaneous multiplayer experience. Also, the remote play together itself, we on the touchy side. That's me coming from my business line, connected directly to Jordan's Canadian fiber optics, which is like regular fiber optics, but a lot more polite. Um... At the end of the day, this this kind of comes across as a top-down Luigi's Mansion that may have been developed on a budget of straight-up mescaline, while like old home-recorded VHS episodes of Ren and Stimpy were being played on loop in the background, which leads you to the one question I really want answered about this game. Where did you find a functioning VHS player in 2019? Trader Joe's. <laughs> You're dead to me. They don't have Trader Joe's. With VHS players in them. Not in Georgia, maybe. You're a monster, man. You're you're just a monster. Anyway, I tried, man. I tried to have fun with it. It didn't sink. And I don't want to be it's like, well, it's all down to the firing. That it just feels janky. But yeah, man. Multiplayer, you didn't save it. I'm just gonna have to hard pass on this one, man. Yeah. Uh, so Je Dead End Job follows sort of the Binding of Isaac-esque formula of procedurally generating a maze full of room fights, making you shoot and suck up the ghosts of office supplies and trying to find people to save. Make money, die a bunch, repeat, rinse. It's almost like you're working a dead end job for real. The, <laughs> the game the games definitely succeeds in that regard. Um, the humor is a bit of a miss, I find. that it, it tries to be funny. I will say ZX Spectre got a chuckle out of me when it shows up. <laughs> but that was that was about it uh, for like the old computers. Yeah, the multiplayer though, um, 
Yeah, it feels incredibly tacked on. Like I was, I was playing with Ven earlier today over uh, remote play, and like when you start up the game, Steam's like, "Hey, man, you should try remote play. Play it with your friends." I'm like, "Okay, sure. I I don't have friends. I got antagonists that I am forced to interact <laughs> with on a weekly basis." So I contacted one of those, Mr. Ben Stone. Uh, he joined, and yeah. So as a ghost, you play as like the grandma business partner lady, and you can shoot the goo, but it's not it's not helpful goo. Even it's. It's goo that both slows down your enemies, but also you when you walk over it. So that that just means that they tacked this on and found a way to like not have to rebalance the the multiplayer so that I don't I don't know, you they they, they didn't have to actually figure out how to like design enemy patterns and whatnot. It's just, oh, we're just gonna have player two make things both it's it doesn't even make things easier. It doesn't make things difficult. It's a lateral move. It's just more obstacles to deal with, and then occasionally you can suck up your partner. Which, I mean, I don't. That 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 that's for the after after after. Yeah, but you you're, um, you're <laughs> really skilled at that. I'm I just, I'm super. I just got used but, to getting sucked off. I mean, it's all in the tongue, baby. It's all in the tongue. Um, yeah. So all all in all in all, the game I just kind of felt bored by it. It's not particularly fun or engaging. Uh, yeah, and multiplayer. This is we we often say, eh, maybe maybe multiplayer would save it. This is not the case. One chair. Yeah, and clearly there was an attempt to make a funny game here. Unfortunately, the humor is a bit meh, and funny does not a fun game make. I because I wasn't having fun. I just wasn't. Uh, Jordan already made the uh, the very correct. Um, statement that the game the game's name dead end job is very very fitting and yeah it made ghost busting feel um boring Busted. it certainly didn't make it feel good at all and yeah when it wasn't boring i it was disheartening because i was dying from stuff i couldn't see and it happened well it, the video you're watching right now it happened twice and that's about when i just said nope not going back in i just can't can't be asked and there was some work put into the game you can see that there was clearly a lot of uh, thought put into just about everything but it's not my cup of tea and it's not it's not really selling me there are a lot of multiplayer uh, features if you actually look at the options menu you'll see that there's like twitch integration and you can have a uh, chat interfere with the game and make things happen and then there's also the yeah the local multiplayer like that and jordan tried but apparently that's not doing too well either so i don't know it it's not my thing one chair well there you go dead end job feels straight up like a dead end job so if you're looking for this, accuracy in your games yeah. this will do it i don't know man I, I can be made to enjoy a game like this i saw assault android cactus brought up yeah tesla versus lovecraft another game Got those were very good the, the, those six. segments in near automata were all right yeah well, yep. the man in the second playthrough that's pretty much the game yeah so. that's the whole playthrough <laughs> um i swing and a miss on this one that's it's unfortunate like pedro like you said man i mean some love and care went into this to be crafted mm -hmm. it just didn't it gel. doesn't resonate yeah nope mm. so, so. all right coming up next we get some feedback for our coverage of the game awards and someone oh. gives someone a shocker. Dicey. I think he did. Uh, hey, hello. Hi. It's the end of the show. Didn't see you there. Well, not that I can see you there right now. All I'm looking at is a camera. But hey, if you'd like to let us know exactly what you look like, you can. You can go to linksgamecast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form. Make Draw sure LGC your image weekly. and ASCII. We want to see your ASCII art. You, you absolutely can. I'm not entirely sure how the formatting is going to go by the time we get the email, but we'd like to see you try regardless. And if you are a game developer, make sure you include three keys. And yeah, and if you're trying to send us an email that you just copy-paste around and it's got a bunch of URLs in it, the spam golem's probably not going to be terribly happy with <laughs> it's you. It's going to take you to eat a bag of dicks. That's what it's going to do. Buttery Pretty dicks. Pretty much. <laughs> So yeah, if you don't want to eat the proverbial barrel of dicks, you can uh, just remove some of the URLs. Just include the one. We can figure out the rest from there. It, it's pretty cool. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to thermally regulate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what's happening? Okay. It, it, well, I, we weren't getting sexy, so it wasn't bad. <laughs> look, 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 looks like someone needs to coat themselves in some butter, am I right? <sighs> that person's okay. done. Yeah, we, we, we got some feedback from our coverage of the Game Awards. Um, well, the story for Salam is great. It's still Facebook, and you know they're going to find something new to farm data. Oh, yeah, that's because Facebook was like, yo, man, we're helping people make games. And everybody's like, yeah, but it's you it's, helping it's, people. It, I, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, or buy the game items in the game. On a separate note, why wasn't LGC given an award for throwing chairs at games in for Linux? I would demand a refund, but the stream was free. I actually, in, in the calendar, I actually put um, the name of the stream as the Game Awards sucks at Linux, but, you know, it is. What it is. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I don't know, because to, to some extent, I agree, right? Like, fa Facebook putting their, their mitts on something are, automatically makes it a little squicky. It makes it a little sketchy. But at the same time, these are these are people who are trying to put out games mm -hmm. in, in, in countries where that type of education is not maybe necessarily the most commonplace. And it's good to provide rep representation and a signal boost to those developers because they're putting stuff out and the world should consume it, right? Um, uh, but, but then yeah. again, this is Facebook, the company that was once again discovered that 260 million accounts had leaked out and the details like names, email addresses and phone numbers of people just showed up. Hey, man, listen, that happens. But I mean, it's not like Facebook would ever buy a property and completely dismantle the core team responsible for it. Wait, that's called the Oculus. Hi, Oculus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what John Carmack's up to these days. Rolling around in this pile of money, thinking about, I don't Pretty know, much, yeah. more money. <laughs> thinking about race cars, yeah. Uh, dude, what is it? The, all right, fair enough question, because he, is he bored of VR? What did Carmack right. leave he, to go do? He, like everyone else, realized that, oh yeah, VR is going to be great mm, 30 years, years from no, now. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hot. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be shocking. It, it could mm. be, and uh, RK has something to say about it. System Shock 2 was the first horror sci-fi game I played way back on my shitty-ass 2 megabyte AGP Savage card. This death looks interesting, ditching Unity and going ought Unreal for interesting. Mm. Punctuation, dude! Punctuation! And that's coming from Pedro. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Comma Splice himself. Man. Yes, I comma splice. At least I put more commas than there should be. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Double commas, extras. You get a comma. You, uh, yeah, this is about the System Shock demo, something that yep. was announced during the Game Awards. It and, was. You know, you could play it now. Okay, did did everyone else get thrown off because when we went to the page, to, it's like, oh look, it just has the Linux version. Download it. You know, it has the Linux plus Steamos system requirements. So I downloaded it. And I hit play, then I got the Proton thing. It's like, yo, I'm like, what the cinnamon toast fuck is Um It did run under Proton, but I don't want to live in that universe to where something just straight up doesn't tell you it's running on Proton. Should, yeah. Should that matter? Because that would matter in my purchasing decision with a game. It, it should, because that's the exact same reason that a lot of the Linux people gave uh, CD Projekt Red shit for the piece of shit port let's call it that that the witcher 2 uh was supposedly released on linux under well, that had more to do with the virtual programming in there yeah but it, it was virtual programs piece of shit uh compatibility layer was that was lowest crap to listen to their credit virtual program had a long sorted history of cocking up mac ports before they got around to linux yep and then proton came along and it the lunch yeah. <laughs> I, I I mean I, I don't know because again I'm I'm still I'm still in the camp of effectively Win32 has won that war so game I, mo most new games coming out in the future unless like the engine has baked in Linux support is going to be played through Proton so I know, I, 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 I I think I think un, at least at least until Proton or Wine or whatever it's like 100% feature parity with Windows. Yes, it should be labeled as such so that people can make an yes. informed decision. But at the same time, like the most lay people don't care. So yeah, because you know what? On that unfortunate bombshell. <gasps> yeah, baby. We always love to cue the music. Isn't that right? Bright. You well look. You can kind of see the back of my head. I don't have a bald spot. Neat. Yet. Yeah. Uh. 
If you want to get a hold of me, I'm at Vin Stone on Twitter. That's where I'm hanging out. You can always just at, re, at me. Yeah, come at, at me, bro. At me, sis. In our Discord, that's where I'm hanging out. We have IRC if you want to pop into that nonsense. We'll be there to uh, be like, yeah, I read your message. I dealt with you. And uh, what am I at? Uh, just at Vin on mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm Jordan Swung. You can butter me up by following me on Twitter at the Burning Fool or on our Mastodon at Projo. That's mass.linuxgamecast.com. Butter. Mm. Butter. Butter. Mm. And I am the Greasy Mexican. You may know me as Pedro Mateos. You can find me at unaccounted for on Twitter. Okay, now you, I thought you said you were Brazilian. It. Your face is Brazilian. No, my face is Brazilian. Oh, shit. <laughs> Got told, son. Got told. Roll uh, credits. Technicalities. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, gotta thank all we the lovely no people class. supporting us. So so much support over the years. Uh, here we yep. are at the end of 2019. We still reviewed a game with the Unity Scream of Nope. Yeah, but and wait. We, yeah, we, we did. Got, yeah, we did. We got Arthur we did, yeah. Yeah. Fox I was Dog, like, oh, oh shit. Empty, yeah. the Atomic <laughs> Ass, Mike G, Barb Ramped, Aldeus, Haplo, Mackie, and Scoot. Scoot! And our lovely regular producers like Jupiter Broadcasting and Strider and Oh Bruno, and Mr. Mango, Mr. Mango and Jones D, Russ and Mawada, Paul, and Ryan, Nathan, and Soldat, who's in chat, Texas, Vlaunir, uh, Assistant T, Rodin, another Ryan, uh, Topical, Joe Angel, Yabo, Evandro, Douglas, Mr. Alert, Rohit, Tapical, Zoe, Yabo, Mini Jack, Mr. Rezo, Shervig, Von Haven, Stavin, Wintercell, Vertinog, Gonzo, Bell, Aldias, Linda, Costa, Odin, Sorceress, Carl, and, <laughs> and Nova. And of course, we got. This, this fuck no, we got a new fuck wall, baby. Yeah. Yes, we do. Do we have a picture to go with it? <laughs> no, we, we just got that back at Ben's head. <laughs> All right, yeah, cool. You know what? <laughs> Let's put it in seizure Peter. mode before we get out of here. What word is seizure? I need epilepsy to warning, <laughs> folks. People with epilepsy, look away. Yeah, please. if you're watching the video version, look away now. <laughs> Mode. <laughs> so what flashy. a great piece of technology. <laughs> uh, we're children. We've established that on a few occasions, Pedro. I don't yeah, think anybody's went, wait, this what? Is, this is news to no one. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>